Cloud Gaming has launched within the Windows 10 PC app. We got our first look at the Forza Horizon 5 map and a leak for the file size of Halo Infinite has come out. So Xbox has officially launched Cloud Gaming into the Xbox app on your Windows 10 PC. It is currently available for insiders who are subscribed to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And all you will have to do is launch your Windows 10 PC app and there will be a Cloud Gaming section. Now here is what it looks like. This is the Windows 10 PC app open on my computer. And as you can see, there's a new tab here and it says Cloud Gaming. So you can see all the stuff, you're, all the games available right now on Xbox Game Pass. But if you go to the cloud gaming section, it'll allow you to see games as you've been recently playing. If you wanted to jump back in and you'll be able to play them right through the cloud, no matter what hardware you're on, on your PC, if your PC actually can't handle downloading these games, obviously you're going to be able to check them out on the cloud, which I think is a major advantage of cloud gaming, just getting it out to as many people as possible. If they don't have a GPU and a CPU within their PC, that's going to be able to run a lot of these games. And then you can go through and you can see all the available games. And let's say here, I want to jump back into the ascent, click on it, click play and boom, it's going to load right up on the cloud, right through the Windows 10 PC app. And you're just going to have to connect a controller via Bluetooth or via a USB-C to your PC for this to get working. Now, as we see, it took a couple of seconds, it's loading and we should be into the game very soon. There we go, right into the game. So it only took maybe like 10, 15 seconds for this game to get loaded as I click the ascent to jump into it. Now, obviously you saw there that there is the the little bit of buffering that comes in, but overall the experience with cloud gaming, especially on PC has been pretty good. I haven't felt too much lag and too much buffering and loading other than like the very beginning, which I see generally whenever I launch a game through xCloud. What else is exciting about this is just the fact you're gonna be able to try out games before downloading them and wasting space on your hard drive or your SSD. And I think that's gonna be a nice feature going forward, especially if you're gonna be able to do this with games on your Xbox itself, if they can get the cloud gaming on the Xbox app itself, where you can try a demo out or something before you actually download it to your SSD. I think that's gonna be a nice feature going forward. And additionally, I just wanna add in case anybody is trying to check to see if this is there for them, you have to make sure that you are within the Insider program within, you've signed up for the actual Insider for the app, which is the Windows gaming thing here. So if you go and download the Xbox Insider app or Xbox Insider hub, on your Windows 10 PC, install it, then you can go over to previews and it should be there in available if you haven't joined or it'll be here under the join section and then you'll be able to get that cloud gaming feature added to your Windows 10 PC app. So moving on here, we got our first look at the Forza Horizon 5 map and man, it is big. So here is the actual map itself. You can see just how large it actually is. All the different areas of Mexico that you're going to be able to drive through. Now, this is just the wet season. And as you know, in Forza Horizon, you go through the different seasons of the year which will change the weather the road and all that kind of stuff and that's one of the coolest things i find about forza horizon but with forza horizon 5's map it will be 50 percent bigger than forza horizon 4 and there's going to be 11 biomes including tropical and rocky coastlines living in sandy deserts winding canyons arid hills, lush farmlands, river strewn jungles, swampland, and the vibrant city streets of Guanajuato. I don't know if I said that right at all, but there's also going to be a volcano that lies in the center of the map. Some of the weather changes that they also mentioned was that there's gonna be like spring rains and there's going to be summer storms and on the tropical coast and all that kind of stuff. So overall, this is looking extremely exciting. I mean, I can't wait to finally jump into Forza Horizon 5, especially with the size of this map. And I'm sure they're gonna talk about it even more before it releases is in November, but it does look like it's going to be a pretty incredible looking game and just an incredible open world game that somehow is building upon Forza Horizon 4, which I thought was a lot of fun. I found the map to be really large. There's always stuff to do and there's so much different like terrains and I love when the season changes in Forza Horizon 4. So it's gonna be really cool to see it happen in Mexico. So Halo Infinite we know is around the corner. We've played the technical preview. I thought technical preview was a ton of fun, but we're getting our first kind of leak as to what the file size may be for Halo Infinite. As there is this picture that's been popping up and it looks like it's going to be about 97.24 gigabytes. Now, the thing with this is that we don't know if this is just the campaign size. 
if it's only the campaign size, I mean, that means this campaign is going to be extremely massive, but this could also include the multiplayer as well. It's hard to tell because as we know with the multiplayer, it's free to play. And I'm assuming that the download for the Halo for multiplayer is going to be completely separate from the actual Halo Infinite campaign with this kind of picture and logo that represents, in my opinion, the campaign. We've seen the multiplayer picture, which is different than the campaign box art and all that kind of stuff this is kind of the halo infinite multiplayer picture that represents that so i'm assuming when you go to the xbox store to download it you'll be presented with something like this to represent the multiplayer whereas for this one here i think it's representing the campaign so if the campaign itself is 97.24 gigabytes better start saving up space on your ssd if you're going to be wanting to jump in to the halo infinite campaign right away anyways guys that's it for me let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below are you going to be trying the cloud gaming beta on your windows 10 pc app are you excited for forza horizon 5 after seeing the map and what do you think about that file size for halo infinite do you think that's just the campaign or is that going to include the multiplayer as well if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new here and you like what you see through Throughout this video i'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community so we can have great conversations in the comments below thank you again for watching thank you for your support and i'll catch you in the next video